so I guess we're continually talking about Resident Evil news today because Capcom is releasing a special Lexington vintage typewriter that's going to be USB compatible and Bluetooth compatible for people who care about this stuff. I believe that the battery life by itself will last seven hours and it looks like a nice model except there's a big problem here. The problem seems to be that this keyboard is kind of a scam. It's kind of a ripoff. It's based already on an old model keyboard that I took like about five minutes to Google. It's called the Quirky Writer S typewriter inspired retro mechanical wired and wireless keyboard with a tablet stand guess how much money this keyboard costs compared to the resident evil 2 remake cross promoted keyboard it costs you about 250 dollars compared to this 680 729 dollar keyboard yikes that's a fucking yikes yikes bro i love the fact that Capcom is trying to bring back Resident Evil, bring it back to form, do something with it that is equivalent to survival horror yet again. A lot of people have been complaining. A lot of people have been in my comments saying that I don't call out Capcom when I called them out copious amounts of times and I'm calling them out again. This is a scam. This keyboard is way too much. This is something that is for diehard collectors. I said this in the description of my last podcast because I think this news came out afterwards. It wasn't breaking. It came out a day after the Resident Evil 2 over the shoulder perspective from Capcom. I didn't cover it. I really wish I did <laughs> because that would have been a small row segment. This is bullshit. Capcom has always made these stupid run of the mill, jumping the gun, collector's items. That is just way too much. Remember RE6 where Leon's jacket, if you wanted the jacket, you would have to pay like about upwards of a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars for a coat. I saw elsewhere once again going shopping using the internet google i saw elsewhere you could get that coat for half the price at about 500 to 600 dollars again i understand people want to be collectors but sometimes it's not worth it it's really not and i'm a cheap fuck i know this i would never go for something like this it does have some quirks again bluetooth keyboard cool very cool um you also get goodies that you could get in the collector's edition of resident evil if you decide to pick up the japanese premium edition for 900 dollars. you get like a special goodie which is ink ribbon masking tape i guess we need masking tape in our lives I don't know fam, but you get everything else in the collector's edition from what I see. Um, DLC vouchers, a soundtrack CD, the official art book, the Raccoon City police station poster, cool, and a copy of the game and a chess. Pretty nice, same things that were in the collector's edition. Uh, but like I said, it's, and I agree, like they put out some nice artwork for this, but all Capcom did was like slap on an umbrella sticker, slap on some gold from this quirky, quirky writer, whatever the fuck, uh, quirky writer S typewriter inspired retro keyboard. And they called it a day. This is lazy. For all the people thinking I always defend Capcom, I'm telling you now, this is lazy. You could buy a mechanical inspired retro keyboard for fucking half the price. 
don't buy this don't buy this please unless you're a diehard fan again because i don't want people to say oh you know i i tell people what to do with their money i hate that prospect again if you want to buy this shit you could buy whatever the fuck you want i'm just saying from a technical standpoint if you really want a retro inspired mechanical keyboard that looks like a typewriter go shopping elsewhere it's the smart decision but hey if you want to blow your money that's also fine too so this is renegade operative signing off and man i cannot wait until dmc5 inspired merchandise especially with the long coats because you know you know it's going to be expensive as fuck get ready to spread your cheeks grit your teeth and prepare for a full-on anal invasion from capcom i will see you guys next time later